Hi video friends, Liz Clava from Cosplay Image here, and I have a dirty little wardrobe secret. Oh. This weekend I went through and I thought it was time that I figured I had a couple too many dresses. So I thought I would pull them all together, get all the dresses in one place and take a look at them. And this is what I found. Oh my gosh, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for somebody who spends a lot of time talking about small wardrobes and, and capsule wardrobing. I have 32 dresses. Like who needs 32 dresses? So it was time to do a little reflecting on how I got here. And it's a combination of things because it always is. But let's talk about the three biggies. One, prior lifestyle. When I was a classroom teacher, I wore dresses at least three days a week, sometimes four days a week, right? I kept, and when I left the classroom, transitioned into other things and then into owning my own business. Now, then too, I acquired some more because I had a change of lifestyle, right? Then I started my company and I needed more business-like dresses and less sit on the floor and play with kindergartners dresses, right? And this whole time, I'm not necessarily going through. I'm thinking, oh, well, this one isn't working anymore. I'm getting rid of one or two, but I was adding more. I was taking in more than I was letting go. And then three, this thing happened a couple years ago, I don't know, back in 2020 or something, where basically I stopped wearing dresses for work completely because I was working from home. I, I wonder if you remember, it was kind of this strange time, a whole bunch of people were doing this too, right? And although I was working from home, while I was creating my french fries and my wardrobe plans and shopping, I was still each like twice a year buying a dress. So I was accumulating like two more dresses a year. So if I think about 2020, 2021 and 2022, I still probably got six more dresses in my wardrobe, even though I wasn't wearing them. What was I doing? What was I thinking? I don't know. So it's time. Now for you, it may not be dresses. For you, it might be t-shirts, might be jeans, might be PT gear. Whoa, do I see that in the PT gear very, very frequently. Also in the jeans and t-shirts. Um, now I could discount a few of these dresses, like, um, kind of on one end, there are my kind of like date night dresses. And there's even three or four dresses here that I only wear for events like balls at the dance center where we go for ball, where my husband and I go for ballroom dance. Right? So even if I take out like those three or four dresses, I've still got close to 30 dresses, which for me feels excessive. It feels like too much and it's time to release some of these into the world. Now, 30 dresses might be perfect for you. Wow, I could wear a different dress every day of the month. That might be kind of a fun exercise to try. Hmm, thought there. That might be our, my next uh, order of activity. Might be wear a dress every day for a month. But that's too much for me. And I know that. I know where my sweet spot is. And I know it's not almost 30. Your sweet spot might be a completely different place than my, mine. And that's okay. Um, I'm trying to think if I have a blog post about wardrobe sweet spots. I don't remember. If I do, I'll link it in the post below. But, whoo, this is just way too much for me. So in the next uh, week or two, I'll be doing some wardrobe editing and I will take you along with me. That'll probably be next week's video for you. But yeah, have you ever thought about what's your sweet spot for certain um, different kinds of clothes? I see this happens a lot with um, shoes as well. And I have a client out there, wink, wink, for whom it is scarves and um, cashmere sweaters. Ooh, and you know, lovely. That's okay because she's got room for them. She's got, she's found her sweet spot. The, the right amount is the right amount for you. My right amount is going to be different than yours. Um, and I talk and I do have a blog post about how you'd kind of determine that. Like what is, what is enough for you? It's something to think about. So give that some thought over the next week. How much is enough for you? For me, this is too much and it's time for me to edit. So that's my dirty little wardrobe secret. What do you have enough of or what do you have too much of? Go ahead and share in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, pop on over to the blog if you want to learn more about capsule wardrobes. <laughs> this is ridiculous because there's nothing capsule about it, but that's okay. Capsule wardrobe, style in general, midlife style, shopping, color, you name it, it's over there. It's over there at the blog. That's closetplay.biz. Closetplay.biz. Biz rhymes with Liz. I'm Liz Clever. Thank you for spending some time with me today because your time is valuable and any of it you spend with me is a gift. Stay safe and sound, sane and stylish. Bye. <laughs>